Robert's here to help me with the APTs. Hey. Robert, get a little closer so everybody can see how excited you are about helping with the APTs. I want to do APTs. We're going to do APTs together. Woo! Here we go. Yeah. And okay. then I'll explain to my other class why I'm late. All right, go. Go. We'll see you later. All right. APTs. Here we go. APTs in Python. The first thing we do is we go to the CompSci6 web page. You can tell this is the CompSci6 web page because it says CompSci6 right there. Syllabi readings, APTs. Those are algorithmic problem solving and programming tests. They're linked right there. Let me go back here. APTs. We're going to do a bunch of these, several every week. We're going to do Bog Square as a demo, and then we'll get to turn it in for super extra credit. Word games, the score awarded depends on the, to some extent on the length of the word. Sometimes longer words receive higher scores than shorter words. In Bog Square, the score of a word is the square of the length of the word. Now, every APT has the name of the file, that's sometimes called the module in Python, and the name of the function with a parameter. Returns an integer obtained by squaring the length of the string parameter word. Types, types, and names, word, string, value. Let's look at some examples. I returns 1. Anti-disestablishmentarianism apparently has 28 letters. I'll let the computer count that. Once you've read it all and you kind of know what to do, I'm, I'm going to click that I want to submit this one. I'll pop it back up again. I have to go to Python inside my Eclipse. I'm doing a Python development. I've already created a project and we'll tell you about how to do that in class. And now I'm going to the source folder. I'm right clicking. That's control click on my laptop because I don't have a double button mouse. Uh, might be something else. I'm making a module. A module is a group of related functions. This one is going to have one. I need to give it a name. I leave the package alone and my name, what am I supposed to name it? Hmm. Ah, I'm required to name it Bog Square. Capital B, little o g, s q u a r e. Finish. Come in here. Cool. Uh, bah, oh, I forgot the name of that method. Score. Score word. And I just have to return something. If I would just return one, functions return value. There's no semicolons in Python. I save it. Now, one, that could be the correct answer sometimes. Let's find out how often. This is just me making sure that the name of the function is, the, is right. So I used score. I'm going to just check it. First, I have to browse to where it is. Now, Eclipse tells me where it is. Users, desktop, courses, 6 Python workspace. This is where the full path, which I'm going to need probably, if I say I'm browsing to the file, it was on my desktop, in the courses directory, in 06, because that's the course in my workspace, in APTs, in the source. Oh, it wasn't in APTs. Maybe it's in... Comp size 6. There it is, bog square. I click on it, and I'm going to test it. It's uploading it. I passed 3 out of 13. Green is pass, red is fail. Mmm, sad. But I'm hoping to get better. I really am. Um, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to see what happens if I, for example, capitalize the name of that function. That's the wrong function name. Suppose I wasn't just malicious, I just made a mistake. And I try to test it. I got none correct. Runtime exception. No attribute named score. No attribute named score. No attribute named score. I failed them all because I didn't have an attribute named score. Well, that's not a great message, but it's going to do. Now, how many... how? Sometimes you just might know what to do. I need to find the length of that word. And I remember discussing that in class. That was the length of the word. I'm going to store that in a variable. I'll just call it x for temporary. That's not a great variable name. And functions, every APT returns something. Return x times x. That's x squared. Now, there are lots of ways of doing this, and we're going to see another one. x times x. I'm coming back out. It's already remembers where my function is. It's going to reload that one. Turn it in. Pass 13 out of 13. All green. That means you get to do the green dance. 
Green dance, everybody has their own. Green dance, everybody has their own. Green dance song. Now, normally by now I'd be done. I could just submit it. But I'm going to just try something. Instead of x times x, could I do x squared? Probably. If you want to check that, you can just test it and run it. 13 out of 13. Green dance, green dance, green dance. I'm going to try one more. And I want to wonder, how about if I just say return len of word squared? One more time. 13 out of 13. Green dance, green dance. Now I can use Eclipse to submit it. I hover over my submit a project for grading. It comes up with this dialog box. That's a week one. If it doesn't work, come back out. Now the next button is selected. I'm going to submit from this project. I'm going to navigate to where it is. It's in the source folder. I don't, I don't need to submit anything other than bog square. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to submit a readme file. Every submission has a readme. So I'll come in here and I'll right click again. Right click and I'll say new. Other. I just want a general untitled text file. And here it is. I did this with no help. It was fun. In your README, it's on this course syllabus page. I'm going to put it here. And I need to have it a name. I'm calling it README. You could call it README.txt. Just README is good enough. Now I'll go to Submit again. Pick 6. Pick Week 1. Go Next. From this. Where did it go? There's the README file. Apparently it has to be in the same folder. I want to submit Bog Square and README. I'm going to need to move out here the README file into the source folder. That way I'll find it. One more time, going to submit. That's the one I want to submit for week one. From this folder, click on the source. I don't need to submit NIM or Tagger, just README. I'll type finish. Net ID, password, log in. Over the internet it goes. Spinning wheel, hopefully eventually. That, uh, I've successfully submitted my files. Okay, now I can check the history box. I want to check the history for week one. Get history, authenticate again. This is how I can verify that it went in. I've submitted two times for this project. I was most recently submitted on Friday, September 13th. Box square. I'm done. Hooray. I get the green dance. I'm ready to go. That's it for today.